Hello everyone, it's Sarah. Today we will be making a star shade. This is actually a project for my Astronomy 101 class at UW. Alright, let's get started. You will need a star shade template by NASA. The link will be in the description down below. You will also need scissors and a pointy object to help you score the paper. To start, cut out the template indicated by the dotted lines. I had this cool looking pointy metal object lying around to score the paper, but if you don't have something like this, you could always use a pen with no ink. I am using that to create creases on the red lines to make valley folds. Then we could flip the template over to crease where the blue lines would be. This would create our mountain folds. Now, you could also create these short lines between the larger ones if you'd like, but this part is optional. If you do score these lines, make sure to do the blue ones on the back side as well. Once you've finished scoring the paper, use a pointed tool to sharpen your creases. As you can see, I really emphasize the creases on the hexagon for the best results. Now for the hard part. Slowly fold the paper inwards until a spiral formation takes place. Doing this project reminded me of the first time that I made origami figurines with my auntie. The art form, which originated from Japan, creates 3D objects using paper. Hearing how NASA is implementing origami techniques into their spacecraft designs is pretty cool. NASA is currently experimenting with origami techniques to make their technology more compact in order to launch them into space more efficiently. Its compactable size also makes room for other materials that may need to be transported. This would help save lots of money since space travel is very expensive. The Starshade is one of the most amazing designs as it can become more than four times its size when fully unraveled. Its purpose is to aid space telescopes in taking images of other planets by blocking the sun's glare. Okay, so here you can see me making sure that the sides of the hexagons are creased as can be. Then I crease the sides with my fingertips for the final touch. Now. If you pull on the opposite sides, they should be able to expand and compact. And we're done! For some bonus footage, here is a model of how the starshade is used. It would expand towards the sun, decreasing the glare as a telescope takes the picture. You can see these two planets over here. If you guys like this sort of content, please like and subscribe and let me know about your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching!